Guess who's back, 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 back again? I'm bringing sexy back, 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 back again. Guess who's back, 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 back again? I'm bringing sexy back, 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 back again. Such a fucking hoe, I love it. Such a fucking hoe, I love it. Such a fucking hoe, I love it. We got a lot of stuff to open up, but we're not doing that. We're going to open up to you, the viewer. So this is the closest thing to a joke you're going to get in this video. Uh, but we don't waste jokes here on the Hate My Name channel. So some of the jokes that we were going to put in this... Uh, we're going to do in another video. One of these over here. Let me get y'all uh, caught up. I did a video about Zompire. Truth about Zompire. A while back. Some of you that's been with the channel for a while, you saw it. You can't see it now. Uh, that's because I deleted that video. I could have made that video private. That's probably what I should have done. I made the decision... Uh, as an act of good faith to take it down. Now, this was per Vlad's request. Uh, he had said to me, Hey, I got this new box coming out, and I'll send you one if you take that video down. If you just get to that point of the story, that seems really fucking peculiar for the Hate My Name channel to do that. How did you get to that point? Well, let's go back just a little bit. For reference sake, that piece of shit Arcade Pop, who went after Wet Movie 1, Fluffy Gamer, and then that also led to the hashtag, I believe Carlos. When all that was going on, Vlad completely agreed. And we found a commonality between each other. And how much of a piece of shit Arcade Pop really is. And that led to him offering to send me a box if I took that video down. So I did. Also, because of the whole COVID thing and so many people scamming unemployment here in California, people who were actually in jail, uh, it got to a point to where my unemployment was under suspicion even though I could not go back to work and I wasn't getting unemployment. I had to sell a bunch of stuff. I put a bunch of stuff on eBay. And I ended up doing a Razzie in his group. And I was very appreciative of him helping me get rid of some of this stuff so that I could pay fucking rent. This wasn't so that I could, you know, go and pull a half cock and, you know, buy a new bedroom suit and a bunch of shit from Primetime Signatures. This was for my livelihood. Why wouldn't I be appreciative, right? I had a Jensen Ackles autograph that I was $200 into. Um, funny story about that, but I'm not going to tell it because we're going to stay on focus. <laughs> uh, his girl wanted it, as most girls do. And I said, I, because of my appreciation for him helping me, when I needed to just sell some of my stuff and pay rent. I said, what I'll do is, I'll give it to you for 150 but you don't have to pay me 150 You give me three boxes, my choice. Now, over the whole course of this time period, he sent me a total of two free boxes. I didn't ask for them. He just offered to send them. He also sent me a couple of shirts. It was very nice. Uh, branded shirts. So I'm, I'm a walking advertisement. See, this is going to come in to, this, to the whole mindset of things. Because I want you, to, you, the viewer, to realize what we're talking about here. What does each person gain what is their benefit from this? Well, one 
of those boxes that I heavily promoted was his Cannibal Holocaust because nobody had put fucking Cannibal Holocaust in a box before. Uh, some of the things that I'm going to say right now, let's, why don't we get complimentary shit out of the way first? How about that? We're at like six minutes. It's going to be a long video. Welcome to the truth about. Uh, some of the things that Vlad has done right. Vlad did candles. I think the candles was a good idea. Vlad did license plates. That was a good idea. Uh, I got the one from Nightmare on Elm Street that was signed. And then he did the one for his Chainsaw Massacre 2. And I got that signed at CreepyCon. And Bob Elmore and his wife had never seen one of those before. And she asked if she could take a picture of it. They were completely impressed with the fact that I brought that fucking license plate, okay? These are all things that he did right. Let's talk about what he did wrong. He started putting Marco shit in his boxes and he destroyed the company. I just want to interject that in real quick. I don't hate everything the guy did. He had some good fucking ideas here and there. So, I'm fair. Back to the story. One of those boxes that I got out of the three that he owed me, and then I purchased one of the Cannibal Holocaust for myself. See, a lot of you people at home, you would probably go, hey, if I already did the deal with him and I got three, I'll get two, one for myself and then one to give away. But even then, even then, I want you to pay attention, goddammit. What the fuck did I stand to gain promoting his box, using one of my owed boxes and giving it away. And then what did he stand to gain? Is that a fair question to you, collector's community? Well, we're just going to ease into this shit because let's talk about <laughs> the pre-sales for the final box. Pre-sales for the final box, I was going to get two of those because I'm still owed two boxes. Well, the pre-sale for that shit went up, what was it, April? Maybe May? And, um, anybody heard any word about it? Is, is Leia Thompson going to be in that fucking box? See, that's a deep cut. Some of you that don't know anything about the band box won't get... I guess that technically is a joke. That's the closest to a joke. Fuck you. It's hard when you're a comedy channel not to make a joke. Anyways, then you got the issue of the Razzies. And boy, are there issues there. We're going to go out of order because my issue is before the first one we're going to talk about. The first one we're going to talk about is Linda Blair that is owed to somebody who won and they still haven't got it. And that person has been unfriended slash blocked. And that was in a, in a mass removal block. And what was that about? Let me tell you what kind of person Vlad is. He's like Donald Trump, and he's going to hate that I just said that, but Vlad, real talk, you're on some Trump shit, and I'm sorry to make this fucking political. I'm not saying anything about policy decisions or anything like that. What I'm talking about is this mentality of fully support me or else. Fully support me or else. You see, you have somebody like Richard King, who fully supported Vlad, who got kicked out of 69 Collectibles for sharing the Panda Code for the fucking uh, box that had Cannibal Holocaust. He got kicked out of that group. And as soon as he didn't go against Uneasy Andy, the Boo Box, kind of a Ron DeSantimonious type thing. Oh, somebody's doing another box. That's you, Vlad. That's fucking you. Back on target to these fucking Razzies. Somebody else. Somebody that we're good. We're tight with. Somebody that sent us multiple items. I'm not going to bring your name into it out of respect. Out of respect. Hey, he got the fucking Ed Gein dirt in a Razzie. Like, almost two months ago. He still ain't got it. But let's talk about the hate my name. When the Hate My Name Razzie 
And let's talk about the fact that when I fucking shared this in Hate My Name, Vlad said to me, Hey, why did you share this? It's already over. Oh, I'm bragging about the fact that I won. He believed it. It's a pretty good lie. I'm going to get back to why I needed the lie at that point. That's, that's, that's the kicker. That's the kicker, Vlad. You're going to love this shit. And the people, not so much. Anyways, I got some names to fucking read off to y'all. And I'm going to go ahead for the, uh, for the hearing impaired. I'm going to fucking put them on the screen. Ray Boss, $8. Michael Baker, $32. Michael Escobar, $40. David Pratt, $32. Derek Winsky, $32. Mike Finch, $24. And Charles Gardner, $72. That was uh, $240 that Vlad made off of that Razzie. Everybody that I just read your name, Vlad owes you that amount. Because that item was fake. I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen right now. The image from Sawa, one of the most respected. Look at it. Not likely genuine. Well, I sent that information to Vlad. I said, dude, I'm going to fucking burn this thing. That's what I want to do. I want to burn it. He initially had said, send it back to me. Send it back to me, and I'll fucking give you the refund. I'm not, I can tell you one motherfucking thing. I'm not sending this back to you. I'm burning it. Why? It's fake. And it's not just Sawa that said it. Representative of JSA, a representative of Beckett, also said it was fucking fake. Multiple people who run the big five. What are you talking about, big five? Zobi, Bam, Mintich, CPA, fucking fearsome figures. Big five. One from each of those looked at that fucking Stanley. Not Stan Lee. Stanley. I said, that shit ain't, that ain't real. That ain't fucking real. Some of you might be on the fence as to how much of an offense that is. You know? Because sometimes you sell stuff, people. I sold stuff when I fucking didn't have a job to go back to. Hell, any of that shit could have been fake. You know what the fucking difference is? Nobody told me. Nobody advised me. Personally. It's fake. And you might hear me say that and go, Oh, oh, you mean that all those other people saw what told fucking Vlad that it's fake? Beckett representative or JSA representative told Vlad it was fake? Nope. They didn't. Michael Berkowitz did, and so did Mike Tapp, uh, R.I.P. Both of them privately told him, not real, dude. Berkowitz went and talked to people, Tapp went and talked to people, and those people within Beckett and, P and fucking JSA and people who work with those big five came back to them and said, that ain't fucking real. And Vlad knew it wasn't fucking real when he fucking razzied it. Razzied it anyway. He's getting feedback from people. Bro, that shit ain't real. Oh, I'm just going to razzy it. And then all these other people are sitting there fucking paying money in to something that's fake. And he knew. I'm not going to say he knew 100% that it was fake. But he knew it was very likely that it was fake. And you go, but Fresh, do you got the fucking receipts, bro? <sighs> you know I do. Let's just go ahead. We're going to end the show. Shy of 20 minutes. Not bad for a fucking truth about. I think there's probably a couple of things that I left out. We're going to do that in a live stream. We're going to give him a chance to come in address these issues. We don't block people. We don't stifle people from having opinions and and debate. By all means, let's fucking talk about it. 
my opinion is I'm never going to get my two fucking boxes that I mowed. I'm never going to get my fucking refund for the fucking Razzie uh, of $72 that he was going to round up to $80. i am taking one for the team. So, uh, 72 that's $172. I'm out on this. Do you think I give a fuck about that $172? No. Uh, Ray Boss, I give a fuck about your $8. Michael Baker, I give a fuck about your $32. Michael Escobar, I give a fuck about your $40. David Pratt, $32. De uh, Derek Winsky, Mike Finch, $24, $32, $32. I give a fuck about y'all's money. I give a fuck about so-and-so's Ed Gein dirt. I give a fuck about Charles's goddamn Linda Blair pop. Fuck my $172. And fuck you, Vlad. Let's end the show with the goddamn receipts.